This is the 5 inch barreled T-Sauce 1911 Night Stalker. It's chambered in 45 ACP and it might just be the first pistol that both channels your inner Batman and a little bit of John Wick. If you're looking for a 1911 that blends a timeless cool tactical edge, then the SDS Night Stalker might just need to be at the top of your list. Let's dive in. First things first, it does have a two-tone look. Of course, this ain't your grandpa's 1911. Those black grips and accents with that olive drab frame combo screams, I'm here for business. And this business is about to get serious. So without further ado, let's dive into the pistol. So let's start with the tip. Although I will say it does weigh two pounds, six ounces. So this thing does have a bit of heft to it. Your threading on the front, you do have a thread protector and it is a 5 8 by 24 thread. Just behind that threaded barrel, we do have our front orange tritium sight. It is a night sight, so you can use it at night. However, the rear portion is blacked out. It is angled up, so finding those targets downrange are very easy. Just beyond that, we have some lightning cuts up front here. Now, that is going to decrease the weight on the front of the pistol, and it also just looks really cool. So, good job, T-Sauce, there. Heading back just a little bit farther, etched into the pistol is the Night Stalker text, letting you know that this pistol is not your average everyday pistol. Just behind that a little bit farther, T-Sauce does give us a optics cut, which is really nice to be able to mount any of your optics. The sights on this are raised, so you will be able to co-witness with that optic as well, which is very nice. So you will retain that rear sight. Just below that are your rear slide serrations, which will make it easy to press check in pretty much any way. I almost was gonna say I was sad that this didn't have any front slide serrations, but those Lightning cuts actually do provide a good bit of grip so you can press check from the front without even hesitating. Heading on back, you do also have a skeletonized hammer, which is very nice and very easy to actuate. Just below that skeletonized hammer, you do have a rear ambidextrous safety, which again is gonna be on both sides of the pistol there. Not to mention a nice beaver tail with that grip safety as well. That is very easy again to actuate. Do keep in mind that this whole pistol is metal. It's forged frame and slide, which is really nice. And it does give this a very, very confident amount of weight. Heading down to the bottom just a little bit farther, we do have a nice Picatinny rail with four crossbar slots to be able to mount pretty much any laser or light that you want onto here. Your standard 1911 style trigger guard is here. It is again metal, which is very nice. The trigger itself has very, very little take up. So let me go ahead and give you an example of what that looks like. So again, very, very, very little movement here. And then bang. I mean, it's a very light trigger overall. That reset on it is going to be just a little bit of movement. And then again, very crisp, very nice feeling trigger overall. T-Sauce does give you a very nice circular mag release here, which does work as advertised, and it does feel very nice. It's easy to find. It matches that same, same height as your grip here, so you're not gonna accidentally trigger it uh, when you don't mean to, which is always helpful. But that does now bring me down to the grip of this pistol. You have a smooth black texturing here with some very aggressive front and rear texturing portions of the pistol. Now, that's gonna make for very easy to grab and grasp. Also, your fingers are not gonna slide because of that aggressive texturing on the front and the rear. So, overall, very nice grip job done here. T-Sauce does give you a flared magwell on the bottom as well. Of course, it makes it that much easier whenever you don't perfectly line up your magazine when you're going for a quick reload. Makes it almost second nature. That 1911 magazine is going to be an eight round magazine and it does come with another one in the box, which we'll get to in just a second. It's metal, it will be very, very durable and of course, easy to slide in. However, we're not finished yet. There are some extra goodies that come in the box as well. t gives you a very nice carrying case, which is a hard shell case, and again, very nice overall. They do give you some cleaning supplies up here at the top, and then your extra magazine is right here. Again, being another eight round metal magazine, very nice overall, and of course a tool, so that way you can actually take down or field strip this pistol. Overall, a very nice offering from t as a whole. In conclusion, the T-Sauce 1911 Night Stalker SF isn't just another 1911. It's got a tactical edge that makes you want to put on a dark suit, maybe some gloves, and go solve a mystery. Or at least hit the range while looking pretty cool doing it. If you're looking for a pistol with an equal mix of classic style yet modern attitude, the T-Sauce Night Stalker might just be exactly what you're looking for. 
With that being said, if you have any experiences with the TSOS Night Stalker, please leave a review down below. We would love to see your comments. That is all I have for you today. God bless. Stay safe. It is time to...